Colorado burning. We want to show you what the Waldo Canyon fire near Colorado Springs looks like right now. Still some fire activity. And here's the Flagstaff fire, which is burning south of Boulder. Fire officials are saying this morning that the Flagstaff fire is still a threat to the city of Boulder. And we start our team coverage for you with Mitch and Anna in Colorado Springs. Good morning, Bertha. It's a sunny, hot afternoon. The winds are starting to pick up, and we've seen lots of activity with the air attack this morning, trying to put down some of these hot spots. Let's look over our shoulder. We'll zoom in here. I know it doesn't look like a lot's going on, but a lot of flare-ups this morning. So if we look closely, we might be able to catch a couple of uh, helicopters going in and out of there, trying to make some drops on those hot spots very close to some homes today, Anna. You can see that subdivision just below where one of those hot spots is burning. We saw flames there earlier this morning. Another spot that's been concerning is actually quite a bit lower on the mountainside, much closer to the Air Force Academy, and it looks to be burning in some uh, trees, so some heavy timber, and we've been watching uh, that lower spot just smoking uh, here in the last half hour or so, so it appears to be a spot fire that has jumped significantly lower. I'm now seeing a helicopter going towards that hot spot a little bit higher up on the mountainside, um, right west of the what we believe is the Peregrine subdivision and we're seeing a helicopter getting ready uh, perhaps an air tanker hard to see from my vantage point but think, we've been seeing several drops yeah I think that's uh, one of the helicopters they have they do have uh, four C-130s out today but if we look closely we might be able to see this one make a drop because you can see that kind of dark patch there it's really close to those houses and boy in the last couple of hours it was really billowing some smoke there uh, maybe be a few flames I see up a little higher uh, a couple of helicopters work at that one right now. Yeah, those helicopters are orange, so hard to tell in some cases whether they're flames or helicopters. We're seeing up there on the hillside some 1,200 firefighters also working this fire, working to get containment. Um, among those different numbers, we've learned 18,500 acres has now burned, and it's 5% contained. That number holding, although they say they expect that containment number to jump more significantly today. So that's an idea of the fire zone, but we've got some uh, aerial uh, photographs from a gentleman by the name of John Wark. We just received those in the last hour or so. Pretty remarkable. If you look closely at these uh, photographs that John got, these are from the air, obviously. You can see the devastation. You can see the destroyed homes, one after another. At times, a little tough to see through the smoke, but a lot of times all you see is that concrete driveway, and then there's nothing left of the houses. And we have some pictures taken yesterday show the path of the fire. Again, uh, more than 32,000 people people still evacuated because of this Waldo Canyon fire and they're all waiting to learn if their homes made it through the fire. We now know that hundreds of homes have been uh, destroyed and uh, we are working through the process which is very painstaking of assessing every address to make sure that we have absolutely accurate information on each address. The worst thing we could do would be to put out information that's inaccurate. The people impacted by this are already going through enough pain and anguish. We've got to make sure we get this right. Yeah, absolutely. Now, uh, they don't know exactly, again, the exact number of homes that they have. They don't, not even trying to give us an exact count. They may have that by midday today. More likely, they're going to give us a, a firm number uh, this afternoon at around 4 o'clock.